There's a good bit of fun being had at the moment watching a dispute in the United States arising from a guy called Howard Stern. Howard Stern was known as a sort of a shock jock. He's had his own radio station or his radio program, radio show, The Howard Stern Show. It was nationally syndicated in 1986 and it ran from 1986 to 2005. He's a so-called shock jock. He's a right winger. He has been a supporter of Trump in the past and he has been or he's had Trump on his radio show many, many times. Trump was delighted to get on the show because uh, Howard Stern's base, his followers or his fans, his audience would be right wingers and would be supporters of Trump and MAGA followers and so on. Recently, however, he was accused in the last week or so on his YouTube channel of leaning left and, and, and accused of being woke. And Stern reacted by saying, I am woke, motherfucker, and I love it. By the way, I kind of take that as a compliment that I'm woke, he said on Monday. If woke means I can't get behind Trump, which is what I think it means, or that I support people who want to be transgender or am for the vaccine, dude, call me woke as you fucking want. Trump, of course, didn't take this well and his fans didn't take it well either. But Trump took to his social media site, Truth Social, and basically accused Howard Stern of being a weak, pathetic and disloyal guy who'd lost his friends and his audience, etc, etc. The usual Trump response uh, of insulting and uh, spreading, insulting the person and spreading hate and so on. But this question of woke is a good one because it's a sort of a, an insult that's thrown around by right wingers. And for a long time, I couldn't figure out what it actually meant. I did know from the way that it was being thrown around that it was an insult or a pejorative term. It was hurled around by certain right wingers who do not like the attitude of live and let live in others. Many of these right wingers don't like foreigners. They don't like refugees. They don't like homosexuals, they don't like transgender people, they don't like black people, they don't like brown people, they don't like refugees, and they opposed COVID vaccines. They have little or no regard for the fundamental dignity of the human person, especially when that person is not like them. In other words, when that person is from a different place, a different ethnic origin, a different religion, a different sexual orientation or whatever. My view is that I am perfectly happy for homosexuals, for transgender people to live their lives any way they like, provided that they do it within the bounds of the law. It's none of my business. It's nothing to do with me. They can do what they like, provided it's lawful. I can't tell other people how they should live their life. And I don't believe uh, you should either, quite frankly provided they do it within the boundaries of the law. It's not for me to tell them how to live their life. It's not for me to decide that a person with a different skin colour, different religion, different background, different country, different ethnic origin is a lesser person than me or has less dignity than me or is entitled to less uh, of life than me. They're not. They're just like me except they're different in many ways, but they are still entitled to the fundamental dignity of the human being. So, yes, I, like Howard Stern, uh, can hold my hand up and say I am proudly woke because it is sure, it is sure better than being asleep. But it is a good bit of fun and, and uh, very pleasing to see Howard Stern coming out and speaking to his his fans, his followers, his crowd, his tribe, and actually telling them that not only is he woke, that he's proud to be woke. And it is equally uh, pleasurable and gives a great degree of uh, comfort to see Trump again losing his shit and taking to his social media site, his failing, failed social media site, to... Uh, hurl insults at uh, Howard Stern.